a judo swing what is a judo swing aka a fake out how can we see them coming those are exactly the things i'm going to be touching on in this video so the way i always like to explain judo swing judo swing is the fake move before the real move aka the fake out before the real move happens now back in the day i used to actually fall for these fake outs and used to get trapped in these judo swings and the main reason why is because I was trapped on the lower time frame. I was only looking at the lower time frame. I was not zoomed out. I was not seeing the bigger picture. I saw the Judas swing and I was like, oh shit, I need to get in. I need to get in. And that happened a lot of times. For example, right here. Back in the day, I would see this and I would be like, oh shit, I need to get in right here. I need to get in because this is obviously going higher. And I was neglecting the higher time frame here. And the Judas swing, aka a fake out, is so well designed. I'm pretty certain I was not the only one falling for this because this is exactly the reason why it is a Judas swing. It is to trick people into the market. And right here, what you'll see if we zoom out on the four hour, we see that this Judas swing was just a move back into this four hour fair value gap to then continue lower to finish the objective of reaching that low eventually. And if you're only looking at the lower time frame, you will not see this objective. You will be lost on the lower time frame. And that is exactly why this Judas swing is so dangerous. So a Judas swing, how can we recognize a Judas swing and how can we potentially trade them? What do these fake outs look like and what are they actually reaching for? So first, it is important to understand before every session, we have a Judas swing. When a session just starts at the beginning of London, for example, you will have a fake move first before you get the real move. Then ahead of the day, ahead of the daily range forming, like we talked about in the daily profiles, you will have a fake move first, which is generally London. And then you get the real expansion for that day. Then a fake move before the weekly expansion which we also talked about in the weekly profiles and in the previous Power 3 episode. The fake move before the weekly expansion is usually on a Monday, Tuesday, and sometimes a Wednesday. And then also what we touched on in the previous episode, the fake move before a monthly expansion. These are all Judas swings, aka a fake out before the real move happens. In other words as well, it is the manipulation part of that power of three that we touched on in the previous episode. So if we go over sessions first, the first thing we saw right here, what actually happened when we came into that four hour for value gap? Right there, at this time, New York session started. Can you see what New York is doing? First, a fake move, and then you have to real move. And this happens all the time. If we look at London, for example, we keep in mind this higher time from objective, of going lower and reaching that low right there. If we now go into London right here, what do we see? London starts around this time. London actually pushes lower first and then what? It has a fake move and then continues lower. On the lower time frame, on the one minute time frame, because I know a lot of people will be looking at that on the one minute time frame and they will see, oh shit, we just had a liquidity sweep right there and we are now continuing higher. But remember the saying, every time frame needs to be in context of the time frame above it. Just because the one minute switched here doesn't mean we will now see higher prices. Because if we again zoom out to the 15 minute time frame, what do we see using the flood and the lot concept? What is the flood? First line of defense right there. What is the last line of defense? Right there. So whenever you expect a Judas swing, whenever you expect a fake out like this, aka the fake move before we get the real move, and this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say wait for that retracement first. When you have that retracement, you want to get involved here to ride that expansion. So that Judas swing, see it as your friend. It is what we need to get involved. And what can it then reach into? It can reach into the flood and the lot. So right here, we have the lot and the flood right there. In that lag, that is exactly what it will reach into. It either reaches into the flood, which is most of the time a fair value gap. If we have a fair value gap in the lag, then it will likely not reach into the lot. 
in other words it will not sweep that high and continue lower if we have a fair value gap in the leg so right here this exactly this is your judas swing before we get the real move right there and if you now look into new york session what do we see we see new york session also has this fake move right here continuing lower first and then it expands higher reaching into what into this fair value gap with an overlapping mitigation block right there using again the flat and the lot what is your flat right there what is your lot right there it shouldn't come back below this low it should not sweep this low so a judas swing will either take out liquidity or will reach into a fair value gap if there is a fair value gap in the lag it will likely not reach for that liquidity and it will respect the fair value gaps so a judas swing yes we can expect a fake move but it is unlogical to expect a move all the way like this and then continue higher that's what i actually used to first expect with a judas swing at first i thought all right somebody told me a judas swing is a fake move before a real move so what i expected i was expecting unlogical things for a judas swing and what i mean by that is i was expecting the judas swing to sweep all this liquidity and then continue higher in the same session now why is that unreasonable we only have so much volatility throughout the day if price on eu usually moves i don't know 80 pips on average every day then can we expect a 40 pip move lower an 80 pip move higher in the same exact session no so a judas swing will retrace back into what it created right there either fair value gaps or liquidity pool a fake move into that and then it will continue higher so where can we get involved we want to get involved in that judas swing we want to get involved here we want to get involved there to write the expansion that is exactly what we want so this is the new york session and this is the london session both having a judas swing right there but if we now zoom out onto the daily or at least the daily expansion what do we see what did we just talk about we talked about a fake move before the daily expansion aka our daily profile london right here creates the low of the day and new york expands what is this in your power of three that is your manipulation even more detailed even more zoomed in this is your judas swing that is your fake out this exactly this is your fake out before the real move happens so when we are moving lower like this in london the thing you need to ask yourself is are we going lower to go lower or are we going lower to go higher in other words am i trading a judas swing here or am i already trading the expansion that is very important and having those higher time frame pd rates the things we can reach for having those on your time frame will benefit you a lot to not get blindsided by these type of conditions because if i didn't have this line on my chart that higher time frame line to the left i removed it on the lower time frame right here and this is exactly what happened to me back in the day on the lower time frame right here i would see all right we are continuing lower clear structure continuing lower and then all of a sudden we would have this big expansion higher and i would just be blindsided i would have no idea what just went wrong whilst the solution is very simple having that higher time frame drawn liquidity right there on your chart and seeing all right this is a friday so according to the weekly profile that we touched on as well thank god it's friday setup is not unreasonable right here we all of a sudden start rejecting back above that line back above that liquidity pool so right here we now can react and we can say oh all right that might have been a judas swing and now we are in for the real expansion for that day now why did i go for this low right here well if we move out to the daily and this is getting back to the basics essentially what we touched on because this when we are coming from this premium array right there if we are in this premium array what is the first discount array that we can now reach for it is this swing low right right there so that right there once all this starts to align that exactly that is your target and every time again you will see some 
form of a judo swing some form of fake move before you get the real move because again if we look at the four hour what did we see here we had monday right here here we can see monday starts here right here so the beginning of the week starts here and what can we see we can see we first have a fake move right there and then we have the real move so at the beginning of the week just like we saw at the beginning of the day we have that fake move first and then we have the real move and if we zoom out on the daily right here what do we see this is the start of june right there this candle what do we see we first have a down move and then the real move starts so again a fake move before the real move that fake move that is where we want to get involved and this would be your judo swing on a monthly basis so referring to the monthly candle here and this is what we talked about on the previous episode that is exactly where you will see that manipulation that judo swing is your manipulation so if you watched multiple videos can you see now how much sense this is making and how this is completely working in harmony with each other that is exactly the reason why i'm making a series in the first place if you're only watching this one video then i would highly suggest you to watch the full a to z guide because you will absolutely love it and it will make a lot a lot of sense so if we now drop back down into the 50 minute and look for a few more judas swings right here for example what do we see here we already expand in asia and then right here we have some kind of judas swing but London already expands. And the most important thing to understand right here is that we already have this fair value gap. So on the 50 minute, it is actually very simple. What you would do here ahead of trading this London session, you would say, all right, we are now floating around here. On this leg, on the most recent leg, what can we reach into? Well, we have this flood that fair value gap we could reach into that order block but i think this will do the job i don't think we will reach into that if we do want to go go higher we will not disrespect that low the judo swing starts to happen right here and then london already accelerates higher so why does london already accelerate higher and why does it not give the judo swing right there at the beginning of the session well we already reached into that right there and then at the start of london we had a little sting into that fair value gap and then we expanded higher that is more than enough this is already where we can get involved and this is also how you can know if there will be another judo swing or if the session will just accelerate because here it had a sting into it and then it accelerates because it is already in that discount array so whenever you expect a move expect a fake move first a fake move always happens first before we get the real move this fake move is your judas swing and if you attend the live streams you'll hear me say this so many times you want to get involved in the retracements not in the expansion so what i mean by that is right here you can see we are taking that high and we have already expanded these up candles that is an expansion that is not where you want to get involved you want to get involved in this retracement or this retracement and then you want to write the expansion you don't want to chase the expansion you want to chase the retracement in a sense get involved in the retracement aka the judas swing and then you want to write the expansion so again a fake move always happens first before we get the real move this fake move is your judas swing that fake move is trying to play with your emotions because you will think at first oh this is pretty scary it's coming down and yes that's exactly what we need we need it to come down first before we can get involved at first it will be scary seeing these things alive it will be very scary but you need to learn to trust that higher time frame objective and see it play out time and time again doing markups etc so here we are on es on the e mini s p futures contract and we can see we had this move higher off of this daily fair value gap just 
simply using the flood and the lot. And what is the first line of defense? First line of defense was actually this, but it's very high in premium. Then we have this fair value gap. If we are going higher, where are we likely going higher from? This daily fair value gap. And on the weekly, that is the most important. We also had that weekly fair value gap right there. That is the most important thing to understand. So this, this was all called in the weekly forecast. We all saw this coming. If you are attending the live streams, we all saw this coming. And that's exactly what we touched on in the weekly forecast on the live streams on Sunday. So right here, once we reach this, what will we now likely reach for? We will reach for that right there. That is already your drawn liquidity. The important thing you need to understand is I am giving you a drawn liquidity here. Because if you know where it is going higher from, you already have your draw liquidity. You don't need to worry what it's heading towards. The only thing you truly need to worry about is if we are going higher, where are we going higher from? Because that is where you want to get involved. You don't want to get involved once we reach that draw liquidity. You want to get involved once we are moving higher and starting to move higher. That is exactly why I teach if we are going higher, where are we likely going higher from? Because if you can get involved there, then the drawn liquidity doesn't really matter. You can just ride the expansion. This drawn liquidity is all fun and games, but it's the second step. The first step is knowing where we will likely go higher from. Once you can know that, you can make millions. I'm not even joking. You can make millions because here, all you need to do is look for an entry pattern, get involved right there. And this draw on liquidity is not that important. It's not that important because in the meantime, when we already reach that, you have already made a shit ton of profit. All you need to know in a bullish trend, if we are going higher, where are we likely going higher from? That's all you need to know. And that automatically leads you to your draw on liquidity. So there was a little touch on draw on liquidity. Once we have that context first here, that is very important. Then now we can go into the lower time frame and see those Judas swings in play. So I think this is beautiful. If I now mark out the beginning of the week, that is the beginning of the week. Then at certain moments in time, and this is why ES and NASDAQ especially and futures in general, they are so beautiful for a Judas swing. If you are trading futures, it's the same on Forex, but Forex is a little bit less volatile. So it, it doesn't move that aggressive as es and uh, nasdaq especially during the equities open and this is why i said it's very important to watch both the indices skills on video and the forex skills on video because right here you can see the difference right here can you see how beautiful es has a judas swing at certain times of day whenever there's equities open 9 30 and just before that at 8 30 you will clearly see a judas swing right here judas swing fake move before the real move right there fake move before the real move sweeping what that high right there that high perfect beautiful absolutely beautiful price action but argo you just said if there is a fair value gap in the leg lower it will likely not get swept this is where time comes in because right here when we see this happening and we sweep that low that is exactly where you need to react and need to be able to adapt. That is very important. That is a great characteristic of equities open, of the indices, where we sweep a high or a low and then continue lower. Exactly what we touched on in the daily profiles as well. And I say that is where time comes in because when this happens, when this huge move happens, there likely won't be an entry pattern on the lower time frame right there. The only thing you will see is a big expansion higher and now you're either thinking if we actually go into the five minute right there there's two ways of looking at this right there's two ways of looking at it at first people will see this big expansion higher and they will say oh yeah this is the real move we are heading higher we are definitely continuing higher and that is not unreasonable to think why not because we are coming off of a daily for gap but this is a monday and the reason, and I actually called this as well, in the mentorship I said, this day, price wants to jump higher, but it can't. Why can't it jump higher? Why doesn't it go higher on this day? There was no energy to do it. There was no economic calendar to do it. There was no economic calendar event supporting that idea on that particular day. 
that is why you'll see Tuesday moving higher. That's exactly what we mentioned. So right here, once we move higher, there are a few people saying, all right, this is the real move. I want to get in here. And they will get absolutely burned. They will take stop loss after stop loss after stop loss. And they will be left questioning, why didn't it work? Well, based off of the Judas swing here, we can clearly see this is moving higher very aggressively. Yes, correct. It is reaching above a liquidity pool right there. And then right here, that is where you have the real move and where you want to get involved. So if you saw this fake move coming before the real move, you might have asked yourself the question, are we going higher to go lower or are we going higher to continue higher? Hmm. And then a lot of questions start to pop up, right? What day is it? It is a Monday. We have no economic calendar news event. All right. I, I don't think we are heading higher just yet. And that is exactly when you'll see this. So to give you a better example, what happens here on this Tuesday, right there, the fake move before the real move. That is exactly that fair value gap is what you can look for. And what does it do again? It reaches for a liquidity pool and a fair value gap in this case, and then it continues higher. Then right here on Wednesday, what do we see again? The same thing. We have the fake move before the real move right there. And what does it reach into? Well, it reaches into something beautiful. Why something beautiful? It reaches into that breaker with that fair value gap right there with this liquidity. But the most important thing is if we look at this from a one hour standpoint right there, we can see it reaches into fair value gap in that lag using the flood and the lot method into that breaker right there and then continues higher right here we have on thursday we have another judas swing what does it reach into liquidity pool right there intermediate term low intermediate term high once we take the intermediate term high we can expect a bigger retracement boom there it happens and we continue higher that is your judas swing and that is absolutely beautiful tradable right here on es and nasdaq etc using the method of every time frame needs to be in context of the time frame above it because then you will not get faked out by this and then understanding are we going lower to go higher eventually or are we going lower to continue lower this is all crucial to understand if you can understand this you have made a major step in your trading all right perfect thank you